What led to the start of your first company, which ultimately became your first success? Well, I had had companies before that, small little companies, and I had this, and I was doing things for money. Mm -hmm. I had this whole theory. Buy a crash car at five, you know, get the amount of parts, you put it on it, it's another five, mm -hmm. so you're into it at 10, you sell it at 20. And then I knew how it would compound, mm -hmm. and it was very simple. I was going to be a millionaire at 21. <laughs> So, you know, you know a little saying, Mike Tyson says everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face. Yeah. Oh, I got punched in the face. Like, by 21, I was a waiter at Red Lobster. And, um, my, my friends, believe it or not, are, are the ones that Hype Williams created the movie Belly about. And I didn't want to do what they were doing. Um, and I was too smart for my own good. I didn't go to college. So now, all these kids that I thought were dumb in school, I'm serving them shrimp and Red Lobster, and I'm yeah. embarrassed. Yeah. So... Um, that's what happened, and then I stopped chasing money. And I said to myself, let me do something I'm passionate about, and I started to set a goal that, you know, uh, first of all, I work at Red Lobster, but every week I'm gonna put in six hours of work on FUBU until I get to this level of six months. If I hit that threshold, I'm gonna double it, and I kept doubling and tripling it. Um, I closed FUBU down from 89 to 92, three separate times, because I ran out of capital, but I'd only run out of $1,000 or $2,000. Um, and you know, uh, you know, by 96 or 97, um, I, that's when I finally struck my distribution deal with Samsung, but it took from 89 to, to 97 to even be recognized. Wow. So it wasn't an immediate success. It was you know, of, all the, every overnight success is yeah. 15 years. Yeah, of you know course. That. And it's, and it was easy when it was accomplished yeah, exactly. after it was done.